I've had wonderful opportunities to collaborate with colleagues in the Twin Cities community in professional and civic and non-professional settings in which we are able to craft programs together. I especially have loved my work with Consortium Parisini, a period instrument ensemble in the Twin Cities, and their conductor Garrett Como, who is so generous in allowing me to step on the podium and he steps off the podium or sings within the ensemble. So we've done several projects together and in this case we're doing an All Souls uh, program in which we think and about the people that we have lost over time and we remember them through the music of three different composers, Leonhard Lechner, Heinrich Schutz, so from the 16th, 17th century, and then in the music of Hugo Dissler, uh, a young church musician of the 20th century. And uh, in preparing the singers for this program, uh, what I love about Consortium Carissimi, and especially period instrument ensembles, vocal and instrumental, is that they are very independent. The role of a conductor, I think, with period instrumental ensembles and vocal ensembles is that it is highly a highly collaborative process. And so in working with Consortium Parisimi, there are often pieces that I am not conducting, but maybe I'm co-collaborating on, and I might bring insights into what could be experimented with and what we might how we might choose to interpret it. And then there are other parts of a program where I'm on the podium a great deal, but I often feel um, in those settings that I I am a facilitator, uh, and it's somewhat different from my work with the chorale uh, and or at the University of Minnesota. And so specifically with this program and the work of Hugo Dissler, who was looking back in time at um, early music and trying to bring that frame of reference into his more contemporary compositional voice, uh, I am trying to help the singers understand what that means to look backwards and to place essentially uh, an, kind of a, an early music idiom within a contemporary setting. And in the music of Hugo Dissler, you can immediately see it in just the way the music is written on the page. You can see it if you look at the original manuscript. He wrote in the old German script. And so, uh, I feel in, in looking at Hugo Dissler's music, he was trying to say something by looking backwards, and my job in doing this program and doing music of Hugo Dissler is to help explain to my singers what does that mean, what is the oral experience, uh, what is the meaning of the way he set the text. Many of his works, or specifically in this work that we're doing, Dance of Death, uh, the music lies very low in the voice, I think, because he was wrestling with these ideas of darkness and light. Uh, he has a very specific kind of harmonic sound world that he's creating, and it's not always easy for us to understand that. So I am trying to provide insights to my singers about what, what it not only means, uh, but what he's trying to... Um, illuminate uh, in terms of text. And in particular in Dance of Death, the chorus is singing about members of society who are facing death. And it starts with the emperor and it works down through the bishop and through the nobleman and through the merchant and through the soldier and through the farmer and down to the old woman and the young maiden and then the child. And so you are looking at Disler essentially commenting on lives through his music in two-minute pieces, three-minute pieces. But what he achieves in those vignettes, in those choral aphorisms, is extraordinary. In three minutes of music, he's kind of captured the innocence of the child, or the soul of the old man or woman, or perhaps the... Um, the challenging work of a doctor. Uh, in particular, I love that choral aphorism and I've thought about it a lot. The chorus sings before the doctor speaks about his work. The chorus sings, your body, 
your best friend and your worst enemy. And I've thought about that in terms of watching aging parents who've talked to me about the fact that what they used to be able to do physically, they can no longer do because of arthritis, because of injuries, uh, because of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. And so it's these like really incisive insights about life and the role that we play within society through our personal engagement with the world around us uh, that I love specifically about Hugo Disler. And that has to be imparted to the ensemble so that they understand in two minutes they're telling the story of this individual or that individual. Uh, and just ha allowing them to kind of understand then who they are in that moment dramatically and also musically is part of what we are working on right now as we prepare for these All Souls concerts on November 2nd and 3rd.